All right, we're still talking about square roots and specifically expressions involving square roots. And we're going to be simplifying algebraic expressions that involve square roots, not just numbers, but um, variables as well. So here's the first one, the square root of a b squared. Well, the idea here is to find perfect square factors and square root them. And they come out from under the radical in that process. In other words, we have the square root here of b squared and the square root of anything squared is just that thing. So the b squared, when we square root it, just becomes a b. So I imagine this b squared just going, popping out front as a b. It's no longer under the radical as a b squared. It's out from under the radical as a b. And so we end up with b times the square root of a. That a sticks around under the radical. Here's another example. The square root of a times b squared times c cubed. Okay, let's uh, rewrite this one time just to help us think it through. I'm going to write it as a times b squared times c squared times c. The c, all I've done is change the, the c cubed to a c squared times c. And you can see the b squared is going to come out here and become a b instead of a b squared being square rooted, we just have a b, because that's what that is. A b squared, square rooted, is b. And same thing happens here. The c squared gets square rooted and becomes a c. So the b and the c pop out from under the radical, and we're left with the a and the c still under there. So we end up with bc times the square root of ac. And that's considered simplified. Once we get all the perfect squares that we can find, and bring them out from under the radical, then it is simplified. Okay, the next one is the square root of 9x squared y to the fourth. And this one simplifies nicely. In fact, you can probably do this in your head. The 9 under the radical is going to pop out and become a 3. The x squared is going to pop out and become an x. And the y to the fourth will become a y squared. So we just end up with 3 x, y squared. Each of those three factors gets square rooted. Next example is the square root of 12 x, y cubed. Okay, let's rewrite it. Now you might be able to be uh, doing some of these in your head and that's okay, but I'm going to go ahead and write this intermediate step to help show what's going on. The 12 is 4 times 3 and then the x is just a x, and the y cubed over here can be written as y squared times y. And all of that is under the radical. And then we can see some things happen. The 4 gets square rooted and becomes a 2 out there, and the y squared becomes square rooted and becomes a y out front, not up on top. I just didn't have room right there. But both of those things get square rooted. Instead of having the square root of 4, we now have a 2. And instead of having the square root of y squared, we have a y. So we have a 2y out front. And what's left underneath is the 3 and the x and the y. So we still have a radical with 3xy. So 2y times the square root of 3xy, that's the answer. Okay, let's do one more here. Negative square root of 121 x cubed y squared. Okay, well, what's the negative sign there? Is that a problem? Some people get a little bit scared when they see a negative sign and a radical. And uh, you can't have the square root of a negative number, but you can have the negative of a square root. We're not taking the square root of a negative number, so what's under the radical is positive. We can still square root that. This negative sign isn't going to cause a problem. We just need to keep it on our answer. So there it is. Now, I'll, I'll rewrite this to show the intermediate step here. 121 is 11 squared. x cubed is x squared times x. And then we still have the y squared there also. So the answer is going to be negative. That negative sign stays there. The 11 squared just becomes an 11. And the x squared and the y squared all pop out. So we have an 11xy 
out front, and underneath we just have this lonely x there. 11xy times the square root of x, that's our answer. Negative, excuse me, negative 11xy times the square root of x.